um, I pass what we call the shim, and uh, he can talk as much as he wants about doublets, <laughs> talk about the journey, or whatever you want. But um, the, the sarova without the tablet would be very lonely. So I'm so grateful for Shem for coming up here on the Sunday and for uh, being part of us. Thank you, Stephen. <laughs> Sorry, hard act to follow. <laughs> but they'll be relieved when yours is shorter because mine was pretty long. So. <laughs> you can. You can. I'll do it. I would love it. That would be great. You always taught me if the, if the instrumentalist does something, then your answer should match. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I know. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, the top so, is the more. The most, I think the very interesting thing about Tabla is the language of Tabla. So I'll explain a bit about that. Um, I mean, I'm not sure if you want to hear about my journey of Tabla, but you know, you mentioned George Harrison. I can say that thanks to George Harrison, I'm here today because he did so much work publicizing Indian classical music yeah. in the world. He was my first contact as well with Indian music. And at university, I got some Indian classical albums from some fellow Indian students. Then I was working as an engineer in Melbourne and doing a bit of African drumming classes. And I bought some tabla without money. And he said, go see this guy, he's a tabla teacher. And went to his father in Varanasi, who had had a heart attack 10 years or a few years earlier and didn't play, but he taught everything vocally. And he told me, listen to how I'm saying it. In, the, in his house in the Shashwamed Ghat next to the Ganga and Varanasi, a very special place. So each of the sounds of Tabla has a name Na, Ta, Thin. So these are all tuned to the drone. Uh, and I also tune this to the drone. Then Tun. Sound. On left is I think gear with gear then with pressure. All these mean that means. And ka, just two basically. We say ga or ka. Then together, ta, din, et, kra. And then we have so, take these syllables and make words. Tirikiti. It's a lot of words, and then with these words we can make compositions. There are cyclical compositions. When I'm accompanying, I'll play the teka that shows the tal. So when we're doing teen tal, da din din da da din din da da tin tin da da din din da. If we're doing ten beat, jump tal. Then there are kind of solo compositions, cyclical ones, for example, Kaida. And all these kaidas, we take the words and we repeat them in different combinations, and it's kind of like poetry. And then there's a fast cyclical composition, rela. Then we have thing called Tihai. When I finish solo, I'll always play something three times. And that last da comes on the one where Stephen accents is called sum. Then we get kind of 
kind of compositions called tukra as the introduction and tihai. So I just like to play play one very special composition called chaturam. It has bowls from tabla, pakawaj, katak dance, and tarana, which is the singing star. I got learned this from Pandit Abhijit Banji. It is creation of Pandit Gyan Prakash Ghosh, very famous old top teacher. Stick around. 